before the season, if you told me that I would have reached the final and the round 32 of the Nationals, I, would, I wouldn't believe you. I wouldn't, I wouldn't think that would be possible, but we did. Crazy. When I arrived at Goshen 2019, I saw that there's so much soccer in the area and there's not a same professional soccer club that we can play and to grow as a, as a player in the, in the summer. And that surprised me because there's so much soccer in the area. So yes, I think right now it's the right time. Maybe three, four years ago would be the right time too. And I just saw this opportunity and I just went for it. And it was a dream. the idea I started to show my ideas to the business department of Goshen College and they helped me tremendously with some insights and some ideas and just to have a solid presentation it was much easier when you have the president of the college saying oh he has a good idea uh, and then the, the people started to listen more to me We had, we had 80 people come to the tryout. Obviously, you know, we need to have a tryout our first year. Um, we need to, to see who's interested, um, who's going to be committed, um, and who's, who's got the quality to, to you know, perform and, and play at a high level. Um, we had 80, uh, we had to cut it down to 30, um, and we, we looked at, you know, skills, quality, um, things like that, as well as who they were as men because we felt like we needed to, to bring players in who would represent the community well um, and would represent our club well. The first few practices, I, I knew some of the players already that played with me at Fox United, uh, Alan and Peludo. So I knew some players, I knew also some of the Goshen College players. So I wasn't a complete stranger when I got to the team. Uh, so it was definitely good that we had some local kids that I already knew that helped make the chemistry right away from the beginning stronger. But then there were still a lot of people in the squad that I didn't know and I felt like we just build this strong connection so fast. First four games was always away, so we had to travel five hours sometimes to go play, and that was a big challenge for us. You know, once we get there, you know, it's, it's on me to, to prepare them, to, to get them kind of in the right mindset to, to perform, because those games are, are they're just as important as, as a home game, but when you have that, that added uh, stress to it, you, you want to perform and, and play the best. That way we can get a result, um, regardless of what, what's up against us. I remember we stopped halfway through the, um, through the trip on the way to Chicago, and we stopped to eat and just hang out a bit. We ate some sandwiches and yeah, it was very good. Like that was, it's those little moments that I'm talking about that helped us um, create a strong chemistry in our team and the first game was definitely special for me and for all the boys because it was the first time we were getting together on the pitch and uh, well yeah I was so excited on the on the way to the game and then once we started warm-ups as well and once we got on the pitch I was a little nervous but then it, it quickly I went away as, as I started to play and started the game. When, when I'm giving a team talk and, and we're out on the field and I, I just told the guys to look up at the stands because by the time we were starting the game the stands were full, there were, there were people along each side. Um, I just kind of mentioned to them like look at, look at all these people who are here to support you. They're here to want to see you win, they're here to want you to see you succeed so you know it's it comes down to, to the players once, once the whistle blows that it's up to them to 
to get the result and, and to play well for, for everybody that came. So the first home game was a crazy atmosphere and to be honest I didn't expect so many people to show up to the game and that was a dream coming true. I worked in this project for almost a year before the first home game to, to happen and when I see us winning 5-0 in the first half and almost 500 people in the stands. I was so happy, I was so fulfilled and yeah, that was an, uh, an emotion that I, can, I can't describe. Motion sitting up the goal scored in the eighth minute by number seven, Lucas Montreger. It was incredible. It was the best uh, football experience that I ever had in my life. And I'm grateful for this opportunity that I had. Um, like to come and play in front of hundreds of people and to hold the little kids' uh, hands and walk out to the field with them. That was something I had never experienced before and I'm so grateful for Goshen City for giving me this opportunity. It was something I will never forget. We got to celebrate tonight, you know, 8-0, it, it's, it's a good feeling. Um, and continue to grow as a group, grow as a team, uh, and continue to get results. Connecting with the community is so important to bring them to the games. And it's not all about soccer, right? We want to entertain the community and we want to help the youth. We brought kids to the games and I think we really did good focusing on the kids because then we bring the parents, we bring the family and it's just good overall. And every player in our team was required to do the community service. So we went out there and helped the community on whichever way they needed. And I think that creates a bond from the fans to the club. So it's not all about winning games and playing soccer, right? We really want to create a connection with the city. I'm really grateful for that and the community couldn't have given us more than what they did this year. I'm extremely grateful. The way that we impacted the community was, was fantastic. The way we, we did community service, we helped out. Uh, we were kind of giving back to, to the people that were coming and supporting us during our games um, and that felt, felt like a really good feeling. I think two highlights of the season for me would be the first home game to see 500 people in the stands and us winning 8-0. That was a crazy dream for us. And the second highlight would be going to the semifinal, play the opponent on their soccer field and winning. I think winning 2-1 in the semifinal, that was crazy. We were going to the final in the first year. That was just a dream coming true. So those two were the highlights of the season for me. Well, we were extremely happy already that we were gonna make it to the final. I mean, we couldn't believe, no one could believe that within the first season we were gonna make it to the final of our league and also to the nationals. That was like not even considered when we were uh, talking about the team, we just wanted to compete and put in a good first year. The club is, is headed in, in a great, great direction at a, at a really fast pace. Um, Enrique is doing an amazing job with behind the scenes stuff, with sponsors, with, um, with the community, with, with the kids around the community. I think he's, he's doing a fantastic job um, with that part and I see all of that growing and all of that growing will help my job and the player's job, um, uh, me coaching and, and then playing and performing. 
the next steps I think is to just go back to my office, to go back to my house, process everything, analyze how the season was, the good things, the bad things, and just build out of it, right? Uh, we want to keep growing. Who knows? I would love to open a women's soccer team to give the opportunity for the for the woman and maybe a B team to give the opportunity for the high school players and uh, younger players. So we don't know what's going to be in the future, but it's just the beginning. grateful for everything and especially for the Goshen City fans. Um, I know I don't always get to, you know, shake hands or, or say thank you, um, but this is me saying thank you to everybody that, that shows up in support. I just need to thank the fans to come over to the games and to have a very good time with us. And yeah, that, that's the main part of the project, to have the home games, to have this atmosphere, to bring people so they can enjoy their time with their families and just watch good soccer, right? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.